Sorry this episode took a while, my animation tablet broke during production, and my phone can't process an episode of this length, so it was made on my computer, meaning there's gonna be less animation than usual. But anyways, Interstate 74 is an incomplete interstate spanning the states of Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and North Carolina. As of right now, it runs 492 miles and is planned to go through the states of West Virginia and Virginia in the future. I-74 begins at Interstate 80 in Davenport, Iowa. It goes due south where it meets U.S. Route 67 in Bettendorf before crossing the Mississippi River into Illinois. In Illinois, 74 meets State Routes 92 and 5 right as it crosses the Rock River. Wow, two federal waterways in under five miles, that's gotta be a record, right? Anyways, 74 turns east as it becomes concurrent with Interstate 280. A few miles later, Interstate 74 meets 80, where 280 ends, 80 continues east, and 74 turns south as it becomes the Chicago-Kansas City Expressway. 74 then has exits with State Route 81 in Andover and State Route 17 in Woodhull. In Galesburg, 74 has a cloverleaf interchange with U.S. Route 34, where it leaves the Chicago-Kansas City Expressway. It has a few more exits before meeting U.S. 150, its twin route. Every interstate has what I like to call a twin route. A twin route is the U.S. highway that used to exist before the interstate came to take its place. 74 then has exits in Brimfield and Kickapoo. It then meets Illinois Route 6 and I-474 in Peoria. In downtown Peoria, 74 catches the routes of Illinois State Route 29, Illinois State Route 40, U.S. Route 24, U.S. Route 150, and Illinois State Route 8. 74 meets I-474 again and I-155 in Morton, where 74 leaves the Peoria area. 74 then has exits in Goodfield, Carlock, and Newton. In normal, 74 turns south and becomes concurrent with Interstate 55, nearly missing I-39. It exits US 150 and Illinois State Route 9, where 55 leaves the concurrency and 74 turns east. It then exits with US 51, where it leaves Bloomington Normal. 74 exits with US 136 in Empire and Illinois Route 54 in Farmer City. It then meets Illinois 47 in Muhammad and has a cloverleaf interchange with Interstate 57 as it enters Champaign. In Champaign-Urbana, I-74 also meets Illinois Route 130 and US Route 45. Interstate 74 meets the small towns of St. Joseph, Ogden, Fithian, and Oakwood. In Batestown, 74 meets US 150 again and crosses the Vermilion River shortly after. In Danville, 74 has a cloverleaf exit with US 150, the last 150 exit, and then crosses the Vermilion River again. 74 has a few more exits before entering its third state, Indiana. Interstate 74 first meets Indiana State Road 63. Shortly thereafter, it crosses the Wabash River. A couple miles down the road, it meets US 41 in Petersburg. It also meets Route 25 in Waynetown. On the outskirts of Crawfordsville, 74 meets US 231, Indiana 47, and Indiana 32. Further down the road, 74 meets State Road 75 in Jamestown. Finally, 74 meets Indiana 39 in Lisbon. The next few miles of 74 are confusing due to the sheer amount of concurrencies, spurs, bypasses, and exits it takes as we pass around Indianapolis. First, 74 meets Indiana Route 267 in Brownsburg. From here, 74 turns south as it begins its concurrency with I-465. Immediately afterwards, the two act as the eastern end of US-136. Less than two miles later, US-36 joins the concurrency. Another mile later, US-40 joins the concurrency as well. So let's review. We have I-74, I-465, US-36, and US-40 all on the same road, and we aren't even one-fourth of the way around Indianapolis yet. A few miles later, the four meet Interstate 70, and from here turn due east to cross the south side of the city. We have an exit with Indiana Road 67, and then have US 31 and Road 37 join the concurrency. That's six routes on one road. I would say this is a lot, but we haven't covered any interstates on the east coast yet, so... Anyway, the six meet Interstate 65, and a few miles later, 74 leaves this mess of a concurrency, picking up US 421 to join it as well. The two leave Indianapolis and meet Roads 9 and 44 in Shelbyville. From here, US 421 leaves the concurrency in Greensburg, where 74 meets Indiana Road 3. In Batesville, 74 meets State Road 229 and then meets State Road 1 in St. Leon. 74 crosses the Whitewater River and becomes concurrent with US 52, where the two continue into their next state, Ohio. I-74 and US-52 enter the town of Harrison, Ohio. From here, they become concurrent with I-275 and cross the Great Miami River in Miami Town. I-74 leaves the concurrency and exits in a few Cincinnati suburbs before ending at Interstate 75. Thanks for watching and be sure to WAIT! WAIT! That's not all! Since North Carolina seems desperate for interstates, 74 meets a new beginning at the Virginia-North Carolina state line. 74 begins on a concurrency with Interstate 77, though 74 breaks it off before the two can actually have an exit together. In White Plains, 74 exits with US 601 and then ends again at an exit with US 52. You're gonna see this a lot. Interstate 74 in North Carolina isn't complete yet, which is great news for me, it means I get to do this episode again later, so there's lots of random ends and begins. For example, 74 randomly begins again at an exit with Interstate 40 in Winston-Salem. From here, it meets State Route 68 and Business Interstate 85 in High Point. It then meets the real Interstate 85. 
Down the road, it starts to concurrency with Interstate 73, the other in-progress interstate in North Carolina. From here, 74 meets State Route 49 and U.S. Route 64 in Ashboro. It also meets State Route 27 in Bisco. In Ellerbee, 73 and 74 lose their status as interstate to U.S. 220. 74 begins for its fourth and final time in Alma. It is concurrent with U.S. 74 all the way through Lumberton, where it meets Interstate 95. Finally, 74 ends at an exit with North Carolina Route 41 in Lumberton. Future plans for 74 indicate a concurrency and eventual complete takeover of U.S. 74 throughout southeastern North Carolina. From what I can tell, this means 74, both interstate and U.S. route, will end in Wilmington at Interstate 40. Thanks for watching, and be sure to be notified when I release the next episode of Interstates, which will be the end of Season 1.